Hey guys, this is going to be an update from my uh, Project 10 uses. So I'll just get into the items. First up is the face mask. And I have reached 10 times. Yay! So this is moving out. And it actually has more use than I thought. I, there may be a couple times where I used it and then I meant to tally, but then I forgot because I didn't tally right away. And then there may have been a couple more uses than that, but I thought this would have around like 20 uses of it, but it looks like with the 10 hour, you know, times where I used it, it looks like there's only like maybe 5. Maybe, maybe that is 10, but I don't know. But yeah, that's moving out. Okay, so next on my list we have the Pacifica A Light Foundation, which is the foundation I'm wearing today. And I have reached 10 uses on this, on this tip, which today was, was the 10th time. So, yeah, this is getting moved out to, and then there's two more items on my list, which... Is this one next? Yeah. Which this is a next item on the list. This is Jeffy Star Pumpkin Pie. And I used it uh, three times, including today, because I used it today. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep using it. And then the last item I used only twice, but I am moving it out because. Um, this is just, like, I tried, I used it twice, one time in my waterline, which it doesn't show up in my waterline, and then what, the other time was all over the lid, and it was patchy, and every time I tried to put more on, it would, like, pick up below, and it, it's just dried out, I think. So I think I am just, uh, toss this, because my wet and wire pencils are some of the oldest ones. I was hoping more to use this more, like, three or two, five times before I decided, but it's, like, I could leave it in for another month, but I don't think my opinion will change on it. So it's like, I'm just gonna toss it. And yeah. So there's that. So um, we had three items move out, right? One, two, three. And actually, four items is not moved in because I don't have. Right? Yeah. Because, um, oh, I was trying to keep it at five but last month I just couldn't think of another one to add in so this time I need to add in four uh, so yeah so um to replace the Pacifica Alight Foundation is the last foundation that hasn't been in this project because now I could just well I kind of finished the one in my project pan but I didn't really finish it I just emptied the bottle and now it's in a little pot but so I technically only have three foundations that I'm counting, but yeah, so this is the last one. This actually has a good bit of use, because this I've had for a while. <laughs> this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation is in Fair Light Beige. And this is, I've had this for a while, and I probably used about a third to half of it. Because <coughs> this is the second foundation I ever purchased because technically right now I have the, the three foundations that have been in including this one the three foundations that have been in my project this project is the only is the all those I purchased the plus one I've purchased uh the loyal true match uh liquid um and then that was my first foundation ever and then the other two foundations that I've had that I have used up those two were from my sister and that's all the foundations I've ever had ever <laughs> so like I haven't really had that many in total but yeah so this is I don't know what I'm gonna put in here after I use this one up because I have no more foundations so unless if I get the um there's two that I'm kind of really interested in so unless if I get one of those two that I don't know but I really like this and I like I like that it's just squeezy too because I think I, from this I found out I don't like pumps, so it just always pumps out too much. It's hard to like control it. I would rather squeeze it out. Or well, I even found myself sometimes just unscrewing it and like plopping a little bit on my hand, anyways. So like 
I just don't really like pumps apparently. But yeah. So this is the next one. I haven't written any of these down because I don't think I used any of them. But yeah. Uh, bummed I'll be writing them down next time. Um, and then back to replace the one I want I pencil I'm gonna put in this eye pencil, which is this. This is the Call Pop Coon Gel eyeliner. And uh what is this punch? I, I think this is called punch. But it's a yellow and I haven't really used either of my two ColourPop because I only have two ColourPop eye pencils. And this one I got first. This one I got right before they changed packaging. So it's not like super old. I only got it like last year. But um I think this I just I picked this one instead of the other one because I felt like this one would go better with my Panda palette than because this this is my other one, which is like a deep plum. So like those are my two color pop. Right, so this is punch. It's a bright yellow. Which, so hopefully I can start using it more. And I can get 10 uses on it. Uh, my nose is itchy. I'm trying not to scratch it. But, but padding is not working. So that's to replace that. And then for my face mask, I was like trying real hard. And be like, what can I replace that with? So I decided to go with this. This is um a... um. What is this called? A lip tint. This is a uh, kind you like squeeze out. It's like thick and goopy, and then you put on your lips, and then it dries, and you peel off the layer. I have. I used to have four of these, and then I got rid of two because they were like super thick. They were like super dry, and they would just like pick up as you try to put them on. They would pick up on itself when you try to apply it. This one and the last one I have. I don't think are as dry, but if I, I don't really like these anyways. I would love to just either use these up, put these in a project and use them up, or like if I decide that I don't want to use these up in this project, that in this, after these 10 uses, then I can just get rid of the two and then I can get some like better quality ones from like Yes Style because I have like a couple that I'm like interested in on there, but yeah, this is in the color Sweet orange it's more of a red color like that's the color it's like squeezing out when I open it <laughs> let me just squeeze put that back but yeah that's that and then for my last item that I'm adding I am going to add a palette in because uh, I want to start like trying to rotate through my palettes a little more because I've been basically just using my pan that palette so I want so actually, I'm putting in a new palette that I just got two days ago. I haven't used it yet. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it yet. It's already getting dust on it, which annoys me. But yeah, this is a uh, Sephora Pro palette. It was on sale for half off. I think they'll try to get rid of this one. This is the uh, Pro Pigment Palette Editorial. 2.0 it was half off so it was only like $34 which was good and I want it anyways like even when it was full price I wanted it so I just decided to get it so I want hopefully since it's brand new and I've been really since I like swatched them like I really want to use this so hopefully I can get a palette out every month like that's to be tried to be my goal is a palette add a new palette in oh, every one to two months but yeah this is what that's a big mirror so I'm just gonna hold it upside down but this is what the colors are mostly got for these like pinky tones and the yellowy tones but they are so pretty like this red looks so pretty like look at that <laughs> and then feather it's like one of those like green duochromes but instead of having like a super dark uh red brown base it's like a barely wash of color like uh beigey red kind of base and it's like way better from what i've swatched i haven't used it yet but wizard is also a really pretty color that i'll swatch 
I don't know what kind of color wizard is. It's like purpley, but it's kind of has some gold sparkle. It's kind of gray. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of has some blue in it. It's. I feel like it's a little bit of everything. Maybe some pewter. The pewter is a kind of gray. Anyway, so. But yeah. So I'm going to use that palette 10 times. And how I'm doing uh, with the palettes is uh, I'm going to. No matter how many shades I use, I'm going to each time. I use it for that day once so I want to use it 10 separate days 10 separate times no matter how many shades I use each time uh, so if I use it one shade one time and then the next day I use like three shades from it the next day each one of those is just once so that's how I'm gonna do it and then hopefully I could just keep going with the palettes and yeah so I'm just uh evolve here because this video is getting kind of long so love you guys bye